Right now we've got a, a grid test we're gonna take him through. So it's gonna allow me to neuromuscularly take a look at his control. Tori Foster is the clinical director at Spooner Physical Therapy in Scottsdale. He's giving us a demonstration of a new protocol that his group and Dr. Sheldon Martin with Ortho Arizona are using to determine if patients are ready to get back to their sport or activity after suffering an ACL injury. There's about seven phases that we take a person through. Now, some people are gonna go a little faster, a little slower. At the same time, we at least have a, a, a baseline. We can say, okay, this is gonna be the safest and best exercise plan for you, for where you're at currently to help you get to here. Some other exercises Foster showed us for patients further down the road in the rehab included box jumps, 40 yard dash, and a shuttle run. So the person's gonna run five yards one direction, cut, come back 10 yards, and then five yards back to the middle. So what we're trying to do is get more objective data and put together a program that tests these athletes from a more thorough standpoint uh, to get some uh, percentages, for instance, of what does their operative side look like compared to their non-operative side in terms of their strength, their ability to cut, pivot, twist, jump, and not just in one plane, but in multiple planes. Dr. Martin says using all three planes of motion, sagittal, front to back, frontal, side to side, and transverse rotational movements can increase a patient's range of motion and prevent injuries. What we're trying to do with this protocol is is implement some objective measures to get more data. And if, if some of these tests, which you're right, they are challenging tests, but these are to simulate the real live activities and motions that an athlete's gonna be um, undergoing on the field. A team approach on the medical side that Martin and Foster believe is the key to putting an injured athlete back on the right track. You know, we can do the best ACL reconstruction surgery in the world uh, from a technical standpoint, but without any physical therapy afterward, the outcome is going to be uh, disastrous. So uh, we really need the therapists to get patients from the point of post-surgery, if we're operating on them, to going back to playing, whether professional or community level or, or activity level um, sports. The rehab exercises can also be implemented for those looking to prevent ACL injuries something Martin and Foster go over in the annual Arizona Rattlers ACL Injury Prevention Clinic coming up at the Talking Stick Resort Arena this month. We take them through the, the exercises on the field, show them how to do it, and it's something that they can implement in the preseason. We really want to help educate you know, the community, help these athletes, their coaches, their athletic trainers, a little bit more, minimize this risk, but at the same time, if they have something happen, get them back out in the field as safely as possible.